Hello everyone, um, so welcome back to another devlog. So, um, currently I'm in a new version. Uh, I've upgraded the hands only slightly, it's not done too much right now. Um, but I mostly just wanted to show this now because I fixed a lot of errors and bugs. Um, there was just like a lot of different things going on with Unity and stuff that just didn't want to work. Um, now I'm actually streaming from my headset, uh, from my computer, sorry, to my headset. So now, rather than seeing from, uh, oh, uh, from this camera that you're currently seeing from, uh, I can enable just by using the secondary button on my left-hand controller, I can just enable or disable if the camera works at all. Um, and I can, currently it's just floating in space, but if I press the right-hand uh, secondary button, now it just, oh wait, yeah, you can't see. Um, but <laughs> if I... If I show you, I can't move it right now, but I press the right-hand secondary button. Now it's just a physics object, um, but as soon as I press it, it immediately can't move anymore. But I'll just quickly move it over here and just show you what I've been working on, which you can probably see a little bit already from my perspective. Okay, so currently you can see that I've got two different test dummies right here. Um, they're both completely physics-based. I can pull on them. Um, they just simply use configurable joints, um, they have push and pull mechanics, pretty much. Uh, they're just locked on all the, um, limits for movement, but they have rotation. Uh, you can see I can interact them with my own body. Uh, even though I can't technically see the bottom half, because I don't really have feet or anything, I can, like, duck under it and stuff. Um, same goes for any object. Um, and then this one is just fully dynamic. It allows for movement, push around, pull it around, just grab it by its leg and tug it. <laughs> you can see this also in first person, and just pull them around. Physics works surprisingly well. Uh, my fingers don't jitter almost at all when I'm just interacting with any object that's lighter than my own hands, luckily. Uh, you can see it still does, but it's a lot less than before or anything. Um, I'm also having some performance issues, if you can't tell. Um, and that's primarily just based on me using Oculus Air Link and not just normal Link or just using an APK from my headset. But, um, furthermore, you can see Jenga. So, this fully works. Um, my hands are a little bit broken just for this demonstration because I currently have friction on my hands. So, if I move them on objects, the fingers kind of don't really move at all, um, which is the main problem. I had it before where all the friction was on the objects and not on the hands. So instead, the hands would have zero friction and be able to move, which I changed so that objects like this could be pushed and everything without uh, having too much friction. But the problem with that is, of course, the hands uh, won't or will move with the hand, uh, which I did figure out a fix for that really easily, but I haven't implemented that yet, and it's not exactly a difficult fix, but I just kind of haven't done it. <laughs> so, you can see I can kind of pull on this object a little bit. Still, the Jenga blocks have a little bit too much friction on them, but you can see they do work well. Um, uh, the blocks are a little bit too wide for me to pick up well, so I can't really pick them up right now, especially with my not perfected fingers at all, but you can see I can pick them up with two hands just fine. It's nice. Um, and I can stack objects just well. Uh, it works all perfectly fine. Yeah, um, I have upgraded some slightly again, like I said, but not much. And you can see this room, um, for the most part, uh, is just for our game that we're currently working on. Um, which is in development, as in very, very early development, and is probably going to be a much longer project. Um, we're kind of just having fun now. Um, oh, whoops. Um, but yeah, uh, I kind of just want to show you around again. Uh, you can see, uh, if you looked at my last tech demo, you could see me grabbing cubes. Uh, that works again now in this one as well. Uh, the friction isn't as good because, like I said, I changed it, which wasn't exactly great. Um, <laughs> but, see it all works now. Uh, nothing breaks or anything, and I, I can actually throw surprisingly well as well. Um, no issues with that, luckily, uh, which is most, most games in VR, uh, have struggle with, and you can't really throw accurately, which in this, luckily, you kind of can. 
along with the same climbing mechanic from before, uh, where I can just push myself over top of tables, and it works fine. But, um, I keep on sending you <laughs> to the camera, sorry. Uh, you can see, uh, for the most part, I can grab on objects really well, and it does grab, and no matter the collider, it will just kind of grab onto it, right? Which is super cool. So, yeah, and if you're wondering, this is also, uh, I can put my hands in here, just because a friend asked me to, and I did it. So, <laughs> now everything is interactable. Same with baseboards, which you never really think about to be interactable in games, because it's normally just a wall, right, in a 3D game, but in this case, everything's interactable, so so is the baseboards. And if you're wondering about the door, it's pretty broken right now, so I just have it removed the collider. You can see the handle, it actually does work. Uh, you can't push it or anything, but you can see it, it contorts to it really well, right? Like, it just grabs onto it relatively stiffly and everything. So you can see, just have an open, openless void and everything here, but you can just grab onto them and whatnot, move around. Pretty fun. Um, we're going on about a month and a half now. Um, I will show you another thing that, that I kind of find funny, but um, if you see me right now uh, on the camera, you can see I've got this little dot. I don't know how well I'm pointing at it right now, but it's on the front of my head. Point is, I had to put that there because I had to record this twice. <laughs> because um, the first time, I didn't realize I was on the camera view, like, the entire time. And um, I kind of... Yeah, you probably see the point in why that's an issue, but yeah. <laughs> um, I still love this little camera thing. It's 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 not too complicated or anything. All, all it is just has the camera on the end um, and just, you know, just physics object. And that's it. But it's pretty fun to play around with. And I can just kind of zoom you around and see everything. Um, yeah, that's about it. Punching dummy kind of thing, right? Legs also move and everything. Yeah, that's, that's most of it uh, for the devlog. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.